Here's how a split flap display works. At its core, a split flap display has a motor connected to a spool that has a bunch of flaps. The spool looks something like this. The flaps each have half of a character printed on them, and they also have pins that stick out and fit into holes along the outside of the spool. As the spool rotates, each flap comes to the front, and once it gets past vertical, gravity pulls it down, revealing the next letter. But that's not totally accurate. If you look closely, you'll notice that the window, the top of the window, is actually holding the flaps back. If we remove it, you'll see that the flaps actually tend to clump together and no longer flip consistently. So it's pretty key to have something at the top to make sure that there's a very well-defined position for the flaps to flip down. If we look at the other side of the display, we'll notice another small detail that makes it look and sound great. And that's this flap backstop right here. What that does is it causes the flaps on the bottom to gather up and form a more or less solid barrier for the flaps to swing into and hit. You can see what a difference it makes if I remove it. You'll notice that now the flaps swing freely with all the momentum from swinging down. It also dampens the sound since the flaps are no longer hitting the other flaps at the bottom quite as hard. It also just doesn't look as good from the front. So that covers the basic mechanics, but how does the Arduino control whether to show an A or a Z? To do that, the first key is the type of motor that we're using. This is a stepper motor, which is controlled using a series of pulses through this driver. That allows the Arduino to rotate the motor a precise number of degrees each time. However, that's not quite sufficient to fully control the module. For example, what happens if we restarted the Arduino right now? How would it know that the Z is currently displayed and not some other letter? To answer that, we'll have to look closer at this Hall Effect sensor. The Hall Effect sensor allows the Arduino to find a consistent home position by detecting a magnet in the spool. Once it finds that magnet, it knows exactly where the spool is rotated and which letter is showing. The Hall Effect sensor also allows the Arduino to detect errors. Since the Arduino is tracking how far the spool is rotated, it knows exactly when to expect the magnet passing in front of the Hall Effect sensor again. If it doesn't detect the magnet when it expects it, it means something must have prevented the spool from rotating as far as it was supposed to. If this happens, the Arduino returns to that initial homing sequence where it searches for the magnet to recalibrate. So I hope that gave you a good idea of how split flap displays work. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions all of these designs are open source and available on my GitHub, which is linked in the description. Thanks.